take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any and all tension around your eyelids, eyebrows, around your eyes to just be released. Feeling any tension leave your body in your outward breath. As you breathe in and breathe out, feel that wonderful feeling of calm and relaxation start to emerge. Every river starts from a spring, and you will have a spring of relaxation somewhere in your body. Maybe the location of that is your chest, your gut, may even feel like The wellspring starts somewhere in your head. And just feel that that's where the relaxation is coming from. And you can imagine a spring bubbling up from the ground that can become a great river. But to begin with, it's just a source of water, fresh natural water. And as you feel that wellspring of relaxation and resources, feel that it's expanding, intensifying, distributing that resourceful relaxation to every cell in your body. I want you to imagine this wellspring of resourceful relaxation that exists within you mirrors a wellspring perhaps out in nature maybe where you wouldn't expect a spring of water to exist maybe in a desert or a national park and that spring perhaps joined with the streams of other springs creating a large source of water that over millennia carved through rock and I want you to imagine almost like you're flying above a national park to see what started off as a tiny wellspring becoming an expanse of water in the middle of a gorge but this gorge is different there is a vibrancy, a richness to the colour of the rock maybe it has redness to it but notice how crystal clear the waters are I want you to get a sense that There is something magical about this place. That the water itself represents whatever resource you need most. And some people think they need confidence. And some people think they need self-belief. But what if this water for you was to represent trust? The trust you have for yourself. It's not unusual for people to underestimate their own abilities, their own talents, their own experience and expertise. So what if this water there in a gorge represents all of that infinite trust the infinite capability within you. And I want you to imagine you're at the side of this impressive gorge with relaxing water. And I want you to imagine seeing a child perhaps of six or seven years old on the edge of this water 
and see them with the inflatable armbands. You can see them jumping into the water and those inflatable armbands keep them afloat, keep them safe. These inflatable armbands are exactly what anxiety is meant to do. To keep people safe, to protect them. But it's just a stepping stone. Those same armbands that are useful when you're a few years old can become just like Dumbo's feather. It can feel like a crutch. It can feel like you couldn't do that thing without them. And then I want you to see something that makes you smile. I want you to see the father of this five or six year old child also with big inflatable armbands. The thought goes through your mind. Why does an adult need these armbands? Surely they know how to swim. And they do. But this full grown man, the father of this child, is believing something that isn't true. Believing that they need the armbands to float. That they couldn't float without them. And as you see this full grown man jump into the water and float, you can see that the armbands are actually restricting their ability to swim. They can't dive under the surface and explore different parts of this incredible scenery. The very thing that they believe is helping them is actually an impediment. It restricts their ability to really do what's possible for them to do. And perhaps within your own life, you've been using something which is the armbands for you, that feels like they're helping, but actually is impeding your ability to do what you're capable of doing. And then as you look at your own arms, you can see there is armbands on them. And if you feel it's time to let go of things you've been using but not needing, let me know by nodding your head. So take the armbands off. Stand at the edge of the water. And realize that you don't need to know exactly how your arms and legs are going to move in this water. That all you need is the ability to trust that the incredible power of your experiences, your memory, all of those times that you've swam in the past are all locked into your intuition, meaning that you can just trust that your body will swim when you dive into the water. See those armbands just there on the rocks as you then dive into the water. And you can dive in because you don't have those armbands. Feel the refreshing water on your skin. Rise to the surface without knowing how you rise to the surface. Float without realizing how you're floating. Move to any part that you want to simply by having an intention to. You know where you want to get to, but you don't have to know exactly how you're going to do it. I want you to imagine that this water is not just any water. This water represents the ability to restore trust from yourself to yourself. Imagine that this water is healing waters. Any mistakes of the past you've learned from. Anything in the past that you felt that you've done wrong. 
feel that shame being washed away. Any regrets have just evolved your priorities going forward. Feel that the water is healing you, but also restoring a feeling of inner trust from yourself to yourself. And sometimes when people feel safe and relaxed, their imagination takes them somewhere else. So while your physical body is in the water, allow your mind to take you to a time when there was a family meal. Feel like you're back in your body at the point where you had an intention to say good things about good people. And when you feel like you're back in that body, seeing what you saw at the time with a clear intention to know what you want to say, let me know by nodding your head. And realize that just like swimming in the water, you didn't know exactly what you were going to do. You just had an intention, had a structure, and notice whatever the most suitable words were came to mind while you were saying them. No planning, no preparation, just intention and structure and trust. You trusted that the right words would come when you needed them, and they did. So feel like you're back in that moment. The right words come at the right time. You're having an impact on the people you're communicating to. And feel how good that feels as you open your mind to the idea that you can tap into this resource in your own future. So allow that version of you to be confidently impacting the people in that room, in that pub around that table. Imagine that same version of you trusting your intuition is now in a meeting room with 15, maybe 25 people. Just set what your intention is. You want to have some positive impact on them You have a loose structure of knowing what you're going to say. But I want you to imagine something strange is happening. There you are, in that room, in your own body, wearing work clothes. And then I want you to see two brightly colored armbands on top of your clothes. And you could choose to do this talk with those armbands knowing it's going to restrict you or you could take the armbands off which is a vote of confidence in your ability to trust yourself so feel how good it feels to take those armbands off set the intention and feel that you can just jump into the water trusting that the right words will come at the right time giving you an increased ability to impact the people you're talking to. Feel the growing confidence within you as you stand ready to share your knowledge with the eager minds before you. And notice that sense of calm growing inside you as you step into the role of a facilitator ready to guide and inspire. Feel the warmth of assurance as you prepare to speak, knowing that your words carry value and insight. And notice how good it feels to experience a gentle ease flowing through you as you connect with each individual in the room. And you can feel a steady stream of words flowing effortlessly from you, aligned with your clear intention and structure. Notice the soothing calmness in your demeanor as you navigate through your workshop, feeling completely at ease. And it feels good to feel that trust in your intuition, always guiding you to the right words and actions in every moment. 
but you also realize that you have a contingency. If you start to lose that structure at any point in time, you could encourage the audience in front of you to think of questions, to share their key insights with the person next to them, giving you a window of a minute or two to recap on your intention and structure. No different from being in the pool, being in the water and then leaving and then diving straight back in. So experience an empowering surge of focus as you channel any fleeting anxiety into heightened concentration and feel that delightful comfort as you stand before the group knowing that you are well prepared and capable. You can feel that sense of readiness. But also experience the gentle flow of conversation because that's all it is. Your relaxed demeanor invites openness and engagement. And notice the reassuring ease with which you adapt to questions. Your intuitive response is always aligned with your intention. And whether it's 20 minutes or several hours, feel the joy of connecting with your audience. Your confidence radiating and inspiring those before you. And you can experience the gratifying realization that you are making a meaningful impact which boosts your confidence further. And you know what that impact is because people tell you. So just imagine jumping into the perspective of someone in the audience, but making the evaluation that your words are helping them in some way. And notice that that teleportation to a different perspective fills you with a feeling of meaningful connection boosting you even further. Return to your body. You don't need the feather, you don't need the armbands. You already know how to swim, you already know how to talk. So feel the grounding presence of preparedness as you delve into each topic, comfortably guiding the discussion. Notice the serene trust in your capability to deliver, igniting a comfortable ease within. And feel that ease growing and expanding as you express your thoughts clearly, eloquently and confidently. And then imagine that your talk, your workshop has come to an end. And hear the words of those people that you've impacted. Share their feedback with you. Share their insights of how your words have had an impact or made a difference on them. And feel a wonderful feeling then. This is what you're here to do. Not remember words, but impact lives. And each and every time that you've done that before, it's expanded your knowledge, your capability and expertise to make it easier to do it in the future. You've been swimming in turbulent oceans with a false belief that you still need the armbands in a swimming pool. So as you let go of that belief, your intuition grows further. And any anxiety isn't anxiety. It's simply preparing you to have a sharp mind and to facilitate you facilitating others. And then feel like you're returning to that version of you that has just 
shared some insights from all the people that you've spent time with. See their facial expressions, that they appreciate your words. And then feel like you're returning to a pool in a national park, surrounded by rocks. And feel that all along you've been swimming without thinking about swimming. Giving you yet more evidence of the power of your own intuition. Giving you a sense that you can genuinely deeply trust in the capabilities that have been building for years. As you leave the water you feel like your batteries are recharged feeling confident and feeling that you actively want to go into opportunities to speak and impact people without preparing in the same way you've prepared before to give your intuition more opportunity to show you what it's capable of. Now it's time to return to the present as you take a deep breath in through your nose hand out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, feeling completely connected into the here and now, as I now count from one to ten to awaken you. Starting to count, one, two, three, waking up, four, five, six, more alert, seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes, nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.